Welcome to the June 3rd, 2024 Advance Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. It was a smackdown, big smackdown in the Dow. What happened? We hit 40,000, everybody celebrated on the Dow, the big rally, an all-time new high. That was just two weeks ago. And boom, wow, 5% just went away like that this week. A big contributor to that, we'll cover some of the details. There was some nervousness about the, the inflation, the final inflation report that the Fed likes the best uh, here at the end of May. There was also, in that, uh, in, in that sell-off, there, there was a, a little spike in the treasuries. We'll get to that. Uh, but the big factor right here was Salesforce. Now, that's a Dow component. Now, Salesforce is actually a high-flying software company. Uh, you can see the peak in 21. They recovered, made a new all-time high. What happened? Salesforce re reported a 44% gain in profits. And last time I looked, that's a good number, right? They said their growth is slowing. They're at a high multiple, and when you overpay in a multiple and the growth slows down, you get squashed. And they were down 20% in one day this week. Uh, they're down for the year as well, underperforming. Another smackdown at the end of the week was Dell Technologies. The company had run up on the AI mania to all-time new highs, but then gave up 20% on Friday. That's gonna be a theme for the rest of the year. Technology companies that have a slowing growth but are trading at a very high valuation, they're gonna get brought down to earth, evidenced by those two. And it was one of the components in the Dow decline. Now, this is the interest rates. So you could see the rising interest rates, the low in December, and then interest rates creeping up again. That was another factor. As a matter of fact, the October meltdown that we had was when the 10-year treasury went over 5%. And when your comparison rate is higher than the, the investment, net present value of future cash flow goes down. Everybody's waiting for the Fed cut, and that's predicted for later this year, fourth quarter sometime is the best guess. Now, if you get bad economic news, in the financial markets, that could be interpreted as good news when growth slows down. Why? Well, well why would bad news be good news? Because it's more likely to accelerate the Fed cut, and the real estate crisis is likely to do that with the high interest rates. I'm Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Wealth Management. Thank you for joining us. Those of you that subscribe realize you got some very valuable updates over the last year, so if you haven't subscribed, please do. You can also find us on Apple Podcast or NetworthRadio.com. We serve affluent families right here from the Crescent in Dallas, and this video is proof that we love our clients. McGowan Group Wealth Management, a team of 10, the team that cares. We, we're busy all week long scouring the headlines to bring you this update. Here, we've got Marathon Oil. What happened on this spike? We've been talking about energy infrastructure. The companies, a lot of them got to five times cash flow. That'd be like buying a building and getting 20% net rent after expenses. Well, those multiples are starting to come up. Consolidation uh, is really the key there. ConocoPhillips offering a 15% premium for Marathon uh, in a stock-for-stock -stock merger, they'll cut costs, kind of like Pioneer and ExxonMobil, Hess and Chevron. So that consolidation is good for profits, and it will, uh, it will likely begin to increase those multiples. Matter of fact, energy infrastructure pulled ahead of technology measured by the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P uh, Energy Index. Ooh, this is a bad one here. American Airlines, investors don't like the strategy, and they plummeted from 15 to 12 this week. Well, they signaled that we already hit peak travel, and that was bad news, especially because investors 
really don't like the strategy at American Airlines right now. And you could see this is five years of just discontent going from 35 in 2019 down to 12 right there. Problem with the airlines, they have a lot of debt and that doesn't turn out well when you have a slowdown. All right, this is Hewlett Packard. Wow, what happened to Hewlett Packard? Well, you know, Dell had a bad week falling 20% on Friday, but Hewlett Packard overall had a great week rising from 33 to about 35 at the high 39. So Hewlett Packard actually is one of the lowest multiple technology companies. Just wanted to highlight that because uh, they had a good week overall in the face of, well, the, uh, the decline in Dell. Whoa, this is record copper prices right here. Why would copper be hitting all time new highs? Well, one, it's a good sign for the global economy, but two, it also says the data center build out demand spurred by artificial intelligence super cycle, increasing productivity for the companies that are able to successfully utilize it. Well, copper demand likely to stay high. Electric vehicles play a part in that too. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman. Thank you for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe and go to networthradio.com if you want to contact us for your own brainstorming session. Thank you for tuning in today to Net Worth Media. We also have Apple Podcasts. Simply type in Net Worth Radio and boom, it'll hit your phone right then. If you also go to networthradio.com on a browser, you're going to be able to meet the team. You can see our performance track record, the model portfolios that go with today's broadcast. Also at networthradio.com, the longer play podcast is available there as well. We're grateful that you've tuned in. Remember, when we talk about a security, it doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until we actually complete a written plan for you by Zoom or in office or simply a, a conference call. So you reach us at networthradio.com if you want to get that arranged. Market fluctuations and how to handle them. We build high cash flow portfolios and Past performance doesn't guarantee future results, so you do have to be ready for challenging markets. We can build more cash flow during challenging markets than we can when everybody's happy and everything's up, which is when we tend to raise tactical safety. Those allocation strategies are here at NetWorthRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in.